So you probably heard by now the situation with this Brian Kohlberger dude with the Idaho college murders and stuff like that. Which, by the way, is real weird with the circumstances, the conspiracy type stuff. But I ain't going to get into all that. I'm just coming here to say, because it sent me down memory lane. This joker is up in Monroe County Jail here in Pennsylvania. I was in Monroe County Jail for 18 months. So this joker's up there living sweet because Monroe County Jail is a sweet jail. But we talking, damn, 20 years ago, like 20, 21 years ago I was there. I don't know how it is now, but when I was there, that jail was sweet. I'm just talking about the jail itself, like how the jail functions. I ain't talking about the inmates and stuff like that because it was a little ruckus in there. I ended up getting jumped by some bloods up in there when I was up in there. A couple of little things transpired. Because there was a lot of gang members in there because a lot of people coming from New York getting money get caught up there. You know what I'm saying? People coming from out of state, the Poconos. If you heard about the Poconos of Pennsylvania, people say it's a a, a destination, tourism, vacation, stuff like that. Which it is. There's a lot of nice places up there. But don't be mistaken. The Poconos have been overrun by the criminal element over the past 10, 15, 20 years. When I was young, young, the Poconos was real nice. But over the years... Is some parts of the Poconos is basically the hood. There's an area called PCP up there. This really means Pocono Country Place, but they was calling it the PCP. Really, is basically a project of mansions, like these big, nice houses in this area, but it's all hood stuff, you know what I'm saying? But that's a whole other story. But, yeah, I was in this jail. This is how sweet this jail is. What jail have you ever heard of that once a day either for either for uh, lunch or dinner they put a salad bar out which a salad bar buffet you know what I'm saying you can eat all the salad you want whatever you want to eat as much as you want to eat of it also they got a soda machine up in there I ain't talking about the one you got to put money in to pay for I'm talking about like the kind like at McDonald's you take your cup over there just put your cup onto the thing and the soda comes out yeah Joker they got a soda machine up there you know what I'm saying the food up there was good. And I used to work in the kitchen up there. So I was eating lovely up there. You know what I'm saying? I was up there eating amazing. Because not only was the inmate food pretty decent. The food that they have in the back that they serve to like the CEOs and stuff like that. We had access to that. So I was up in there, Joker, eating good up in there. You know what I'm saying? I was up in there chilling when I was up there. But yeah, that's a... He's up in a nice jail right now. That jail is pretty sweet. Um clean like this is like i said 20 something years i'm now it is now but back then it was like a fairly new jail i think it was clean you know what i'm saying because the jail i'm from in, in eastern northampton county that's one of the oldest jails in the country still i think that jail got roaches all type of stuff in there you know what i'm saying northampton county in eastern jail is disgusting it's an old chipping metal paint you know what i'm saying rodents roaches just just nasty and disgusting i'm with the mont road they sent me up there because my mom was a ceo in northampton you know what i'm saying so they sent me to mont road so i was like i could do this you know what i'm saying this was this was pretty sweet as far as jails go you know what i'm saying just i'm just saying as far as jails but yeah that, that's where he's at right now this brian just took me down memory lane a little bit when i seen how they got this dude up there